Well, there's going to have to be immediate infusions of assistance so that Sri Lanka can cover its import needs and can ensure the, ensure the, the, the basic needs of the people. But longer term, this is where there are going to be some tough years of discipline if they're going to be able to get out of this and get on their feet. You never want to be in a position where you have to go to a lender of last resort. Never, never, never. And thank goodness the Breton Woods ex uh, institutions exist so that they don't have to borrow at usurious rates. But you're right. They're going to demand that the government, as a part of the conditions of taking any emergency infusions, work on fiscal discipline, which is to say, basically, don't spend more than you're taking in. And, you know, the government has um, abandoned a lot of that fiscal discipline over the past few years that Mangala Samarawira had worked so diligently to put on path. And uh, they're going to have to make some very painful cuts. And, and yet, uh, you know, having run a very populist government, these are all the chickens coming home to roost. So um, you want to get to a point where you have enough investment, enough FDI, enough trade, enough foreign currency coming in from your own innovations and activities uh, that you don't ever have to borrow in extremists. And I can say that borrowing incessantly from the Chinese has not helped them either.